Pierce Butler served our state during the nation's formative years as a representative in the Continental Congress, the Constitutional Convention, as well as the United States Senate. He was born on July 11, 1744, near the village of Tinryland in County Carlow, Ireland. He was the third son of Sir Richard Butler, who purchased for his son an officer's commission in the British Army as the rebellion in the 13 colonies emerged. He's sent over to the British colonies uh, and serves in uh, 68 in Boston uh, to quell the disturbances there. He meets and marries uh, a, a wealthy South Carolinian girl. When Butler married Mary Middleton in 1771, the Union made Butler instantly not only one of the wealthiest planters of the state, but also one of the largest slave owners in the country. He became an officer in the South Carolina militia, helping to train and organize troops capable of defending the region against invading British forces. After the Revolutionary War, at the Constitutional Convention in 1787, he was considered to be an outspoken and eloquent proponent of the rights of land and slave owners, while also supporting the notion of a strong central government as the key to political and economic security for all classes. He has a huge stake when he goes to the Constitutional Convention in making sure that slavery as an institution is upheld and protected. Throughout his career, Butler's political outlook varied, aligning himself as a Federalist, a Jeffersonian, and eventually an Independent. Butler retired from politics in 1805 and spent the majority of his time at a summer residence in Philadelphia, 